Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. I cannot believe I'm about to make this video. This is a subject I have touched upon on several occasions, and every time the articles that concern them where always have where the police are shown that they're very deeply concerned that this is happening, and they say that they will change and that things will improve. Things are not improving. Things are, in fact, getting worse. We're going to see why in a moment when we look at the article. But why should this be allowed to happen? And what we're talking about? How about police officers undressing children in public without an appropriate adult? Yes. And we've done far too many uh, videos and uh, on that about how awful the police are and how many of them are actual peas and groomers. Uh, so this, of course, should not be happening. And yet it is happening. And it's happening more and more. And it's happening to younger and younger children. So, stick your, you know, just be prepared for what you're about to hear. It is truly disturbing that we have a police force around this country, police forces all over the country, that I think it is acceptable to do what they're doing. And that nobody is questioning it. And that nobody is being held accountable. These police need to be drummed out of the force for doing this. Here goes, and honestly, hold on to your hats. So, children as young as eight are being searched, you know, without being wearing anything, uh, by police outside fast food outlets, theme parks, and in force vans without an appropriate adult present. And black children are six times more likely to be stopped. A total of 2,847 child searches took place between 2018 and 2020. Searches occurred in police vehicles, schools, takeaways and amusement parks. So these children aren't even being taken to a secure unit. And then they're being searched by policemen and there's no appropriate adult present. If anyone else was doing this, they'd be arrested and they'd be up in front of the, of the bench as quick as you like because that would be a crime. It would be an absolute, and you know exactly what sort of the crime. I can't say it's too early in the video to start doing this, but it would be an absolute crime if anyone else took a child out of a, uh, out, you know, out of a theme park, put it in the back of a van, and undressed that child. But these police think that they can do that, and they think that this is acceptable. Police must, on no account, be allowed to do this. Any searches must be signed off by a senior officer, must occur in a secure location. There must be an appropriate adult present and the search itself must not be committed or done by a police officer. It must be done by a medical examiner, either a doctor or a medical trained uh, examiner, someone like a nurse or some such. Someone who is medically trained, not a police officer, not someone employed by the force. This is grooming and every policeman who's done this needs to be fired and needs to be prosecuted because if it was anyone else, as I say, they would certainly be up in front of the beak and getting a, a serious sentence. Anyway, children aged as young as eight have been subjected to searches by police and we mean, you know, full take your clothes off search including outside of fast food shops and theme parks without an appropriate adult present, a shocking new report has revealed. Nearly 3,000 searches of children aged between 8 and 17 took place across England and Wales between 2018 and 2020, according to the Children's Commissioner's report, which was released today. The searches occurred in police vehicles and in schools, with a small number even taking place in takeaways and amusement parks. Data showed that more than half the searches were conducted without an appropriate adult confirmed to be present. These policemen are peas. They are groomers. They need to be investigated. They need to go on a register for the rest of their life. Uh, black children are six times more likely to be strip searched by police when compared with national population figures. And that investigation has found. So what they're saying is, it isn't that, you know, that... Um, Given that only sort of two percent of the population are black, you would expect only two percent of the children being, uh, you know, searched would be black. But no, it appears that it's twelve percent uh, of all searches 
uh, amongst black people. So six times higher than the actual, you know, representation, representational number in the population. That is basically just one word. We know what that word is. It's the R word. Uh, but we don't expect anything less from the police. Uh, Children's Commissioner Rachel D'Souza said the findings demonstrated evidence of deeply concerning practice with widespread non-compliance with statutory safeguards. No, they're just snatching children off the street, undressing them, and they're doing it on a racial bias. Dame Rachel, who ordered the study after the Child Q scandal came to light last March, added, and I've done a video about that, added that children are being failed by those whose job it is to protect them. So this is over a year ago now that this Child Q scandal came out. And so they've, they've formed this commission and they've done this uh, this report. And it's, to, it's not only continuing to happen, even though they knew that this report was coming out, they're still doing it. It's continuing to happen, but it's getting worse and the children are getting younger. Uh, the latest data are published today show, and showing figures for forces across England and Wales revealed a total of 2,847 searches took place between 18 and 22. 1% of all searches were conducted within public view, the report said, although the location was not recorded in 45% of cases and it should be reported in every single case. But they're doing this in public view with no appropriate adult. Anyone else doing it would be in prison. Why are these policemen not in prison? Why are they deemed to be allowed to do this to children. It's no wonder the police is filled with monsters. We've seen time and time again the police uh, with, with I'll do so many videos on the police where they're doing terrible things to women, doing terrible things to children. It seems to be allowable. It seems to be a perk of the fucking job now. Is that what they're saying? Is that what the police are? They're just a bunch of peas because they seem to have the right, the legal right, to do this without fear of prosecution. It is a, inappropriate, is, the, is not even the word here. A total of 52% of searches were conducted without an appropriate adult confirmed to be present. So over half the searches are done illegally um, and done without uh, any kind of safeguarding of children. The presence of an appropriate adult is required by law, except in cases of urgency, and is usually a parent or guardian, but can also be a social worker, carer or volunteer. And the commissioner said that she has serious concerns about the poor quality of record keeping, which makes transparency and scrutiny very difficult. It's done deliberately like that. It is deliberately oblique. It is deliberately hidden because the police themselves know what they're getting up to with these children. Uh, you are not meant to search in the back of vans, uh, you know, in the back of police vans, in schools. It's not acceptable and not without appropriate adults, Dame Rachel told Good Morning Britain this morning. It is the most intimate search and there is a visual. So it's all clothes off, a visual look at private parts and even touching and moving them. And I've got examples of children who are telling me they were searched four times and their parents weren't even told. The police are disgusting criminal filth. No wonder the police are known as the filth because that's what they are. And when they're doing this routinely, thousands of times to children, it shows up what every policeman is because you're not hearing policemen coming forward and dobbing their mates in it and saying, this officer did that and I don't agree with it. No one is saying that. So all these police know it's going on and are saying nothing. So every single policeman is guilty of at least hiding this shameful act. When did you ever hear a policeman report, uh, you know, report things like this? It never happens. They're all as guilty as each other. It is appalling. It is traumatising for children and the police think they can get away with it. It's time the police learnt that they're not going to get away with it. And we need to start locking a few of these bastards up for a long period of time and making sure that they're on a register forever. Anyway, I'm going to finish now and come up. There will, of course, be those people who go, oh, but you mustn't tar all the police with the brush. Yes, there's some bad apples in the barrel, but no, they're not all bad. They're not all bad policemen. There's some good ones. Until we see policemen watching this happen and reporting it, then they're all guilty. If you're a policeman and you're seeing a colleague doing this to a child without an appropriate adult in the back of a van, 
then you must know, unless you are complicit directly, you must know that that is wrong. You must know that you would have arrested anyone else for doing that. So why aren't you standing up, going to a senior officer and reporting it? Because if you're not reporting it, you're guilty. You are as bad as they are. You are all in it together. And you never hear of policemen reporting other policemen. And that is why all these crimes that happen, all these terrible things that happen in the police, by the police, it makes the whole of the police guilty because nobody ever reports it to other officers. They all just keep their mouth shut. And that makes them guilty after the fact. And with this, this is not the sort of thing you want to be guilty of. You do not want to be on the wrong side of this. And so anyone who sits there and tries to defend the police over this, think about that. Are you truly defending someone who would allow this to happen to children without reporting it? It's so wrong and I'm getting so angry about it. I keep having to make videos about how the police treat children. The police should be nowhere near them. I'm going to stop now. So thank you very much for listening. If you like what I hear and say, what you hear and see on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps. It keeps us going and it keeps us watching those bastards in the blue. And if you like, leave a like. Please write a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, oh, I'm so I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Until next time, stay safe, stay well. For God's sake, protect your children and keep them well away from the police. And goodbye.